Welcome everybody, I am Alexander Linz, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com, the largest search engine for wristwatches and official retailers on the net. Basel 2018, I am with Blancpain, with me Alain Delamura. Hello. Welcome Alain, Thank you are you. vice president of Blancpain. Yes. And um, I want to talk to the vice president about the 50 Fathom family. Yes. The 50 Fathom family is getting more and more important. It is the case. It is the case. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you have to be happy. No, 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 no. we are happy. No, we are happy. No, it, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a collection that is involving. Tell me a little about what, uh, what you're doing with it and what uh, the, 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 the uh, success, what, where the success of this line comes from. Well, sometimes in life you can be very creative, but also you can have the luck and we have a chance that we did in 53 with Mr. Jean-Jacques Fichter, our president at that period of time, who created, because he was a diver himself, the first ever modern diving watch. It's we made, we invented, we created the patent of the rotative bezel, which was the idea of reading another time without changing the hands, of the position of the hands. Because if you dive with a watch and you have to change the time to measure how long you can dive, you always have the risk of the humidity coming in the watch when you change the hands, the position of the hands. So by doing that, you left, you leave the, the hands on the same position, but you read the time not on the dial, but on the bezel, which okay. you can block, so that it cannot change your time. Yeah. Because Assuming we go into the water now, we position. Yes, that's it. And then it is of course blocked in the, in the other sense. Yes. So time can only get less, but not more. That's it, and because at that period of time, you didn't have any computer to dive. So the life of the divers were connected to the watch. So the accuracy of the watch is just your life. Yeah. So this was really important. We have some other uh, point, some other mission the watch should be, happy, should be uh, able to, to, to achieve. And then we are continuing with this. And uh, you know, today it's quite uh, in the trend to be for the protection of the ocean, but people are inventing sometimes their past. We have an history, a strong history for 65 years now. We are involved in the ocean discovery and we continue that mission by having a concept where we, think, we say we with the watch, we help the people to know about the oceans. And we continue with that mission, saying that first we try to raise awareness, then we let the people love, and then they will, because they love the oceans, they will uh, respect, and by respecting, they will contribute to protect. And this is really the three guidelines we have in the Blompa Ocean Commitment. So it's not only a watch, it's not only a series, but it's a real commitment. Yes, of course, today people are diving with computers, so we know yeah, that... But they all have a mechanical wristwatch. Yes, also it's a good security, yeah. and add, add security. And it's part of a diving equipment. Yes, and also we had to revise a little bit the mission and the way to, to, to do it. So that's why we said, okay, what is it important today? Okay, we know that plastic are floating, these horrible things we did in the oceans, but we prefer to concentrate on the positive, to see where the waters are pristine and to conserve it, to protect them. Mm -hmm. And for that, we uh, contribute to organize expeditions with the National Geographic, with Laurent Ballesta, with many big and small companies, and to organize this expedition with a free target. So we have a first a challenge, which is a technical challenge. How can we dive? Then we have a scientific challenge to come back with a protocol, biologic, scientific, to study the water and the fishes, to understand what we should do. And then an artist, an artistic approach with the best photos and uh, films, so that we can communicate that to a large public, so that as much, possible, as much people as possible will know how important and how beautiful the oceans are. So this is the idea of our mission and we invest money. You know, when you, when you sell watches, you earn money. So you can spend your money can by- give something back. Yes, if you spend your money in advertising, in newspapers or in billboards, so you sell more watches and then you respend your money to have more communication on the watch and then, but you can also invest part of your money and that's what we do. And um, if the amount of money we invest in these expeditions and not just only to put a logo, but to be a part there with uh, these expeditions and to decide together what will we do with that money. 
In seven years, it was more than seven million euro we invested in that. And also with some watches, we have this uh, ocean commitment program. We make limited series watches, <laughs> like that for example, where you, 250 watches, for every watch we sell, we take 1,000 euro, we give for an extra expedition program on the top of the normal uh, program we have. And the results are here. It was, we took a risk. Yeah. But this Pristensis program allow us to more than double the protected areas in the world. Okay. Through government, through presidents, yeah, yeah, yeah. through military approach, with satellite. And it's not only a blah blah saying that it is protected. They really tag the boats and when they see the boat is doing something illegal, they follow it and when they arrive in the harbor, they catch and, and, and they really have action on that. That's great. And the results of these more than four million square kilometer uh, four million square kilometers on the total of more than eight around the world, we managed to bring more than the double of the protected ocean areas. And the results are even better than we, we thought. So we have this message of optimistic, it is not too late. Of course, human beings made bad things on the oceans, but it is not too late. We can change it. We can leave an impact, and we will probably help to leave to our children oceans in better condition than the one we received. Some of those watches will help also this year, <coughs> and we should talk a little bit about the little sister of the 50 Fathoms, yes. the Batiscaf. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me just in a few words the Batiscaf? You have you present us this watch. <laughs> this this is no. I, this is a fantastic timepiece. So it's very close to the original. Yes, it is inspired. It's true that it's quite trendy today. With uh, in some arts, you have a very big uh, taste. It's quite. Uh, the time to be uh, close to objects from the 60s or the 70s. But it's quite good when you have it in your own company. We are not trying to copy others, we just copy ourselves because we made that watch before. So this is in the history, in the roots of the brand. Like the 50 Fathoms, like the diving watches, we are not reinventing stories for us. This is our story. So it is a uh, limited edition. This one is limited edition, yes? Of 500 pieces? 500, yes. And the way to make the dial with the decrescendo of the, of the color was yeah, very... I think, uh, uh, let me show that again in the camera. You see that there is, the dial is lighter outside, no, in inside. Outside, yes. yeah, inside, inside so is lighter. Lighter, so yeah. There is a, the color is changing from inside to outside. And the way to do this uh, degradé was very... Uh, usual in the 60s, but we lost a little bit uh, yeah, the know-how. Some companies we, brought it back now. Yeah. We have to reinvent it. It was not so easy because the, the dial is uh, rotative. You have to put the color, but you have to be careful where, how much, how long, and how fast it has to turn. So it's not so easy to do it. And there's also another line extension on the Batis cuff. Yes. On the, on the little sister. Once again, I will show watching the camera. I, I, I like this one particular because it's a calendrier annual, yes. an annual calendar. With a way to read. Yeah, the very logical. Quite original, let, let, no? let the cameraman zoom in. You can zoom and you can read. see okay. that about Not 2 o'clock you have yeah. the day, then the date, then the month. Yeah. It's in the way how you read? Yes. Tu Tuesday, 5th of November. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. On the right, 2, 3, 4. Yes. And some people are saying, but why do you put a calendar of a diving watch? It, it does not work. And I said, yes, because the history of that watch, in the previous time, Fichter himself would not, could not think that people would like to wear a so technical watch, which was for diving. So the rotative bezel was so big, he said, I would like to wear my watch also when I am not diving, but I cannot wear a diving watch, it's too technic. So I keep the function of the rotative bezel, so I still can dive, but I reduce the size so that we have a watch you can use every day. And that means that if you wear that diving watch also when you are on the earth, then you need some other functions like the day, the date, and yeah. the month. I was asking the question before because there are some uh, buttons to correct the date. The watch is still with the buttons here. You need to correct and set waterproof to 300 meters. Nothing yes. has changed. No, it is. 300, and that's why we did not use our patent. You know, we have the underlock, yeah, yeah, underlock yeah. which are very elegant. You don't have to see it on the, on the case. But for the 300 meters, we need 30 bar for the for the. For so the it's really you can really dive. You can really dive with, you can really dive with this can. annual calendar. Yes.
and it even under, under what you can return uh, and date. <laughs> and the fishes will finally know the date we are. Yeah. <laughs> we have. Anna, thank you very much for this little um, uh, talk about uh, your engagement in the ocean. I, I, I really appreciate that. You're welcome. You're spending a lot of money. You're giving something back. Yeah. Uh, Blanc is active. I love it. And the watches are gorgeous. Uh, this is uh, one of my favorite timepieces, the, the 50 Fathoms. And as you said, it's the mother of all diving watches. It is. You they cannot say something else. Yeah, yeah, nobody, is. nobody is saying it's wrong. No, no, it's, it's nobody's <laughs> doubting it. <laughs> Not that. It's, it, it's almost at, at, at this time of the year, uh, in 1953, a lot of other watches, watches came out. But you yes. definitely were the first with a turning basil. That is because it was a watch that was supposed to be a military watch yes, for diving, also. for divers. And they, they had requests. Not good only, but also, yes. Yeah, but good readability. Yeah. And, and Fichte was a diver. He was a diver. And the name of the watch is the mission of the watch. Because yeah. the target was to... 100 to meters. Go. Yes. Almost 50 fathoms are. Yes, and 50 fathoms are 92 something. Yeah, so 96, this, I think. This this was yeah. the, the, the target of the watch. The technical uh, achievement was to be able to go to that deepness, and that's why it's still the name of the watch today. Thank you very much, Alain. Welcome, merci. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel, and if you like our videos, please do also. No, if you enjoy the videos, I have to repeat it. If you enjoy our videos, please like them. <laughs> it's, it's getting late, it's getting late.